The most important thing to include on a CV in your career history is identifying where you're going to add value to a company. So achievements in your past, evidence that suggests when you do this role, you do it well. As most websites now will have key individuals, board members, go on there, read about them. They've all got many bios on there. Find out where did they come from, previous employers. Use Google, that's what it's there for. Put in the name of the person that you're going to meet, see what comes up. You'll either find them, which is great, if they printed any articles, if they're published in any magazines, you'll get to see where and when. If not, however, you'll certainly find someone with the same name who turned out to be the first person that climbed the North Face on Everest. Uh, to drop in in any interview, the similarities between someone who's got two names can be a great icebreaker. Be positive, be polite to absolutely everybody that you meet because you're being judged from the moment that anyone can see you. The CCTV camera is in most organisations now, so wherever you are, you're probably being looked back by somebody. For me, first impressions are essential. If you speak to anyone, they say it's the first impressions last. Once you've made that impression with someone, it's very difficult to change their opinion on you. You know, a bit of confidence as you walk in the room. Uh, very unlikely that you're going to get bitten, so you might as well come in um, with your head held high. You've got to remember that I see a lot of candidates when I'm, being, when I'm interviewing uh, for positions. So I want uh, you know, like a two-way street where um, I'm being asked questions about our company, but not just our company, about me, my background, what I want to do in the company. We don't want our failures to be bigger than our successes. Um, and if we have got a failure, talk about what we learned from it. And once again, going forward, what it is you've improved as a result of that failure. That just gives me confidence, though, that if we come across challenges during the time they're employed, they're prepared to do what it takes to make that situation better. A brag pack is evidence, documented evidence of you achieving something. It can be certificates, it can be records of sales charts and where you are in those sales charts, it could be a letter from a customer recommending how wonderful service you provided, etc, etc. Any documented evidence you have of how wonderful you are is what goes in a brag pack. People look to how you talk about others as to how potentially you're going to talk about them. Uh, so you should always try and make sure that you remain objective and positive. You know, even if you've been made redundant by your previous employer and you're feeling particularly sore about that, one of the things that you, you want to make sure is when you go to your new job that you portray a, a positive outlook and a positive view about your previous career. At the end of the interview, sometimes it can go a bit dead, but what I, what I like to see is someone who is still lively, gets up, shakes my hand and tells me that they've really enjoyed meeting me and they're really looking forward to hearing from me. An interviewer might say to you, what are your salary expectations for this role? Now, do not fall into this trap.